Hello and welcome to another video. It's just a short little video and it's all about the casting cannon. Um, I've been requested to do a video and I've had a few questions about this casting cannon so I'll just show you now how it works and how I attach it to my fishing rods. I've got two of them that I use so um, I find them very handy. They allow me to get a little bit more distance and they take the pressure off my, my finger when I'm casting. So the main thing with this casting cannon is the the metal thimble, thimble there at the end is basically used to hold the line. So you wrap the line around that once, just literally loop, and then the line will come away this way. So it comes off your reel like this, and I'll show you in a minute, around there once and comes away. And then when you hold the trigger finger, that the angle there holds the line on that thimble because of the concave angle there stops it sliding off until you release it now this is all based on the fact that your line comes to that thimble at a right angle off of your spool so you have to be directly above your spool which in some cases and with some reels makes it very difficult this one here is pretty difficult but i've used it on here a lot so Basically, you want that metal thimble to be above the spool. If you, if I had it there, it wouldn't work anywhere near as well. I'd have to do two wraps around that thimble to hold it on. And then when I'm casting, the timings will be slightly out, and it makes it very difficult to use. So you really need to have it above the spool. So the first thing I'm going to do there to attach this above the spool is I'm going to put one... At this back leg, which is on the hood of the reel seat, I'm going to put one wrap of electrical tape. But then on the front area here, where the front part of the leg needs attaching, I'm going to put about five or six wraps of electrical tape just to build it up a little bit. So I'm going to do that now. So the first thing I've done to make this easier is to take the reel off. Um, the reel gets in the way. Um, it's fiddly enough to do without the reel. So... Um, with the reel it makes it nearly impossible so first thing I'm going to do is just on the hood where it goes I'm going to do I'm going to do two wraps just to protect it a little bit like so and then that's that there and now I know it needs to be butted right up against this so that will sit there like so and then just at the end of this collar I'm going to do about six, seven wraps just to build it up a little bit. So let's start that there. Like this. So you go one, two, three, Right, there we go. Two collars of tape. It's just built that end up a little bit. Um, I don't, I'm not going to build it up completely so it's level, but that will be enough. So now I'm going to start by getting it directly on the underside of the rod. Um, I have seen people having these slightly to the side further round when they grip it, but um, I tend to have mine directly under the rod. It then just gives me uh, the same point to attach it on any rod dependent it doesn't matter on the size of the the blank or or the size of the handle i always have it on the underneath so this, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because this handle doesn't allow for you to wrap tape that easily so we pull a bit off and then we start just by getting that on there like so Like that, and then what I'm going to do that's just taped on there. I snap that off for now and get it fixed on the front as well. Like so. 
Now, I'm going to do three wraps around each leg, but you need to take that off of the reel to allow you to do it off of the tape reel. So I'm going to take, I don't know, what's that, about a foot, which is plenty enough there. And I'm going to start on the back one, and I'm going to go around it once there, keeping it tight, like so. And then you just have to tuck it under there, and then tuck it under for the third time. That wasn't bad doing that there, like that. And I'll just get one more on it. There we are. So that's the back bit done. We're going to do the same on the front leg there. So we have another section of tape. About the same. Doesn't really matter. Get that on there. And then we we'll tape it around. Now I have seen people use cable ties, um, bands, but all these things are quite smooth. Um, so I would always tend to use tape. But I mean, it's all what works for you. What works for you and your setup. You just need this to be solid and in position. I'm taping it round right up to the thimble and then I'm just tucking it under, keeping it tight. And there we go. Get that in the last bit. Done, like so. So there's that taped in place. We reattach the reel. And there we have it, directly above the spool, like so. And that's as close as I can get it. And I know this works. Now it does, let me uh, unwind the line. It allows the spool arm, the bail arm to turn. Bail arm can get all the way around that. Um, and then when you, uh, Basically, let me undo this line. So when I go to cast, take the line roller to the top, like so. I would open this arm there, open that up. Put your line just over it like that. That's all it needs, over it like that. Once you've got it there, you can open the bail arm. And if I tighten this, that, I'm pulling on that, that will not move. I cannot move that line. When that's on there like that, it will not come off. And that's all working on the fact that this right angle of line here, and that one loop over there is working. And as soon as you let go, the line peels off. So I hope this helps anyone that's looking to install one of these directly above the spool, not forward. Try not to get it back. I tape it on. And then you can just cast as normal, but use this to cast instead of your finger on the line.